What's going on guys, it's Brody Kern, and today I'm going to talk to you about preparation, action, and reflection. You see, there are three separate areas of focus when it comes to performance, and what I used to do and what I see most individuals doing is trying to do all of these simultaneously. You see, almost all of it is in the preparation. Abraham Lincoln said, if you have an hour to chop down a tree, you should spend 40 minutes sharpening the ax. And that is how I try to look at planning out my days, my weeks, like it is all in the preparation. I wanna take the guesswork out of my mind. So how I structure it is on Sundays, I hop on and I plan out my entire week, everything that I have to do. And I start knocking out those tasks as the days come up where shit is planned. If anything extra comes up, I throw it onto my notes, or if it takes under five minutes, I do it immediately. And then what I do is at the end of the day, I take everything on my notes and I put it into, well, so I manage my entire life on Trello. I put them into Trello cards. Everything comes in the preparation because you only have a finite amount of decision-making power each day. And I do not wanna waste mental energy on what I need to be doing. I honestly fucking hate that I waste mental energy on what I need to wear. I've been considering moving to wearing the same thing every single day but the problem is i can't i can't commit to one outfit yet i need to figure out what the fuck i want to do but eventually we're going to get there that's why you see like very famous like super focused individuals who all wore the same shit like you know steve jobs uh I mean, Mark Zuckerberg wears the same hoodie every day. Like these guys, they know that like all their mental energy needs to go into their mission and their purpose and they don't need to waste it on shit like that. Like the more you just, you eat similar stuff, you dress the same way, like you were saving valuable decision-making power for the things that matter. Preparation is everything. I like to wake up in the middle of the, or in the morning and then know exactly what I need to be doing, not taking time to plan it out. So if you were planning out your days the morning of, Definitely start doing it the night before if you're planning out your week. If you're not planning out your weeks at all, do that on Sunday nights. Dude, it, it's imperative. Now, let's move on to the action and reflection part because this is a big issue for a lot of people. They are constantly trying to take action and then reflect on that action while they're doing it. And the thing is, you've never seen a writer write five words and then be like, no, I didn't like that. Or a painter make one brush stroke and then say, you know what, the whole thing's fucked, right? Like what they do is they get into flow state, they get into that creative space and they create. They go for as long as they can and then they'll go back and review their work. And that is so important. You have to be able to trust yourself enough to take action. If you are constantly criticizing what you are doing and criticizing your decisions as they are happening, you will get stuck in analysis paralysis and you will never be able to actually move forward and take risk and make the decisions that are going to allow you to grow because you're gonna get stuck thinking about if they're the right decisions, right? You need to have a time set out after the sprint of action for reflection and then you can either continue on the path or you can course correct. But the, like they are separate. Performance comes down to preparation, action, reflection, and then you know it's a simple feedback loop, right? You input the action, you get a result, and you respond to the feedback, right? Change, change action, new result, respond to feedback. Everything is a simple feedback and habit loop. Like that is what it breaks down to, but you have to start breaking things into different pillars in order to be able to actually look through the data, right? It all comes down to data and being able to formulate a successful system. But if you're getting like pounded with data from each pillar, dude, there's no way to organize the chaos. So really take time to look at in your own life where you need to prepare more, where you just need to trust yourself a little more, and where you need to reflect more. And a big thing too is to have so if you do not have this, you need to have what I call like a board of advisors because every human has blind spots. They have what they're good at, what they're not good at, but a lot of times, you know, individuals due to ego or just focus, you know, single track focus, they don't exactly know when they are fucking up, 
right? Because they're trusting, they're moving on their thing. Even if they're reflecting, there's still blind spots. You need a board of advisors who can come in and give you objective advice. They're not gonna, and they need to be people who are ruthless, people who will tell you the truth. Because if they're worried about hurting your feelings or they're too close to you in the situation, they can't give you real advice that you need to hear. They can't tell you what you need to hear. So you need a board of objective advisors who can criticize your work that in you can take constructive criticism from and actually move forward in a positive manner. That is super, super important. That's the last piece to this puzzle. So I want you guys to take this stuff, implement it directly into your life. I want you to like the video if it helped you out, if it resonated with you. Comment below if you have questions, share it. We're going to be dropping so much fucking YouTube content over the next six months that it's insane. So if you're not subscribed, do it. If your friends are not subscribed, Tell them to because this shit is about to blow up. Thanks for watching.